Too late night with me, Anders Anders and Anders Bart. Uh, hvordan går det, Anders Bart? Hey, det går skide godt. Sådan. Uh, hvad har du lavet siden sidste gang? Jeg har drukket en masse og set meget Netflix. Oh, okay. Today is Friday once again. And uh, hey, you know what, Anders Bart? Somebody has a Fuzzers Day i dag. <laughs> well, well, I think someone has Fuzzers Day. Ja, det er rigtigt. I'm just guessing, I don't know, someone has a birthday. I dag har Norge fødselsdag. Hurra, hurra, hurra! Hvad fanden var det? It's a new thing I'm doing. Kan du lide det? Mm, nej, ikke rigtigt. Well, whatever. Yes, today is in fact the fødselsdag of H.C. Andersen. He's a very special guy, because his surname, or efternavn, is in fact Andersen. Which means he is the son of an Annas. What a coincidence. Another Dane called Annas. Mm, have you ever visited the Hosey Anderson statue down at the, the city hall? Yeah, absolutely. I often go down to see her Anderson. Oh yeah, yeah, you go there a lot. Huh? What do you do when you when you're hanging around the uh, Hosey Anderson? Uh, I take a boombox, no batter, or something so whatever. Okay, okay, go steal. Well, today we're gonna focus a little bit on film or TV. That is, films and TV. You'd never have guessed it, huh? Uh, but first, let's check the comments. Roll the jingle. Jeg synes det er lidt bizarre, at du ikke har lagt nogen kommentar. Det er fordi du er min farfar, ligesom alle far. Oh nej, det kan jeg ikke klare. Please, læg en kommentar, mens jeg spiller lidt guitar. Læg en kommentar! Mm, hvad er det sygt, du spørger om det, Anders Bart? Uh, du får alt for meget fritid, Niko. Du har ikke vidt, at jeg kan rappe, hva'? Nej, det vidste jeg faktisk ikke. Jeg har mange talenter. Okay, let's do this. Today we have a comment from Choco. And it says, Du laver sjov video. Og på den måde lærer jeg af dig. Tak! So tech min ven. I don't know why. There's actually there's actually nothing written on this page. Uh, I don't know why, but your name makes me a little bit hungry. Uh, anyway, I could see one little thing with your comments. So I'm gonna give a call to my friend Anas at Grammatik Politil. I hope that he's feeling a little better today. Wow, awesome man. Last time he was a bit of a pig hole. Anas. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's call him. Hey Anna. Hey Anna. What time are you doing? Yeah, it's actually, it's actually got time. Wow, it seems like you are in Hopla today. Fit to score, Anna. Yeah, the glory of fact is, but so let's then. not talk about my uh, private Liu. Uh, let's take a look here at this uh, I, I, this comment. I can see with this uh, commentar that there is a uh, pointings file that is a conjugation error. Uh, Choco, you have written show video, uh, uh, and I think that you you need to write show video. <laughs> that is uh, flitel plural. You can see a very detailed video by following uh, Cordial. Uh, well, uh, I better get back. Don't fuck with the words. Uh, hi hi. So then, man gets like Anna's short and sweet, a quickie, one might say. Not my favorite kind, but sometimes you've just gotta get it over with. Let's get back to the studio. Hey Google, where does it eat dinner? It's time, it's time again to listen to Google Voice. Tell us what happened this week. I'm very, very excited, guys, to show you and tell you about this awesome short movie that I watched recently. Here we go. Where is it? Lace up. Google, 
Vinterbær er ikke den eneste. To andre danskere kan vinde en Oscar. Jeg er lidt chokeret. Vinterbær is not the only, uh, the only one. Two other Danes can win Oscars. I'm a bit shocked. 39 år i Elvira Lind kan vinde en Oscar for sin kortfilm The Letter Room. 39 year old Elvira Lind can win, oh that rhymes, an Oscar for her court, her, for her short movie, short film, The Letter Room. She looks very smiley and I would be too. Der var i den grad grund til at kippe med det danske flag, da de nominerede til årets Oscaruddeling blev offentliggjort. There was much reason to wave the Danish flag when this year's Oscar nominees Uh, were announced. Thomas Winterberg Druck er nomineret ret i kategorierne bedste instruktør og bedste internationale film, og lidt længere nede af listen med de nominerede dukker to andre danskklingende navne op. Thomas Winterberg and Druck is nominated in the category uh, the categories best instructor or director and best international film. So then, and a bit further down the list, Uh, two other nominations pop up with Danish sounding names. Elvia Lind og Mikkel for eksempel Nielsen. Sidstnævnte er nomineret for sit arbejde med filmen Sound of Metal. Førstnævnte er instruktør, nomineret til en Oscar for The Letter Room i kategorien Bedste Kortfilm, og meget glad, da DR.dk fanger hende på en telefonforbindelse til New York. Elvira Lind og Mikkel i G. Nielsen. Uh, the second The second named is nominated for his work with the with the movie Sound of Metal. The first named is the di- is director nominated for an Oscar for The Letter Room in ca- in the category Best Short Movie. And very happy when DR.DK catches her on a phone connection in New York. Jeg er lidt chokeret og overvældet, men det er vidunderligt, at ens arbejde bliver anerkendt på den måde. Jeg plejer at lave dokumentarfilm, og The Letter Room er faktisk det første fiktion, jeg laver, siger Elvira Lind. I'm a little shocked and overwhelmed, but it's incredible that one's work gets recognized in that way. I usually make documentaries, and The Letter Room is actually the first fiction I have made, says Elvira. Well, just keep doing what you're doing because it seems like you hit the nail right on the head with this one. Derfor virkede det lidt uvirkeligt for Elvira Lind, at kortfilmen skulle nomineres til så stor en pris. Men det blev den konstaterer en grinende Elvira Lind. That's why it seemed a little unreal for Elvira Lind uh, that the short film is nominated for such a big prize. But it has been, states a laughing Elvira Lind. Optog filmen på fem dage. The Letter Room handler kort fortalt om en fængselsbetjent, der får til opgave at gennemlæse de indsattes breve og bliver involveret i en af de indsattes hemmeligheder. Recorded the movie in five days. The Letter Room is, is about, in short, a prison officer who gets the task to read through the inmates letters. And he gets involved in one of the inmates secrets. Mmm, saucy. Fængselsbetjenten Richard bliver spillet af Oscar Isaac, som du måske kender som piloten på Dame Run i de seneste Star Wars film, og som Elvira Lind er gift og har to børn med. The prison officer Richard, or Richard, as Google says, is played, or, uh, is played by Oscar Isaac, uh, who you maybe know as the pilot på Dame Run in the latest Star Wars movie and who Elvira Lynn is married and has two children with. Aw, oh, that makes the movie just a little bit sweeter. Han er jo helt vildt dygtig, og han spiller hovedrollen og er med i alle scenerne. Han er med til at skabe en dybde og til at løfte filmen, siger Elvira Lind. He is crazy uh, talented, skilled, and uh, he plays the main, the main role, and he is in all the scenes. He is the one who creates depth. And he lifts the movie, says Elvira Lind. Faktisk var Oscar Isaac også med til at skubbe projektet i gang. Jeg var næsten lige blevet færdig med min første barsel, da jeg blev gravid med vores andet barn, og jeg havde svært ved at se, hvordan jeg kunne nå at blive færdig med en ny dokumentar, inden jeg skulle føde igen. Så foreslog min mand, at jeg skulle tage fat på den historie, jeg havde gået og brygget på, fortæller Elvira Lind. Actually was Oscar Isaac also with to uh, push the project in motion. In other words, actually, Oscar was also the one to put, give this project a push and get it moving. Uh, Lynn says, I was almost uh, finished with my first 
maternity leave when I got pregnant with our second child. Whoa, good timing. And I had difficulty seeing how I could manage to finish my new documentary before I should give birth, before giving birth. So suggested my husband, so my husband suggested that I should tackle the, his, the story I had been uh, brewing on, tais, uh, says Elvira Lid. Jeg vil gerne skabe debat om de lange fængselsstraffe, man giver herovre i USA, men jeg vil gøre det på en lidt anden måde ved at fokusere på de pårørende til de indsatte og de konsekvenser, straffene har for dem, fortæller Elvira Lind. I want to create debate about the long prison sentences that one gets here in uh, over here in USA. Uh, but I want, uh, but I wanted to do it in a bit of a different way by focusing on the relatives to the inmates and the consequences the punishment or sentences has for them, says Ilvera. And this is what's really interesting about the story. There is a nice little twist that will make you go, "Oh, that was good." As always, my friends, there is a little bit extra for you to read. Mit filmjæger er i Danmark. Uh, so go ahead, follow the link. Follow the link in the description. Check out the full article, and uh, be sure to check out the movie. I recommend it. Welcome back. Be sure to check out the movie. It will be 30 minutes well spent. Well. Uh, we're completely out of time, but uh, I'm feeling very musical today, so I'm going to call to my good friend Anas to see if he has a little rhyme for us. Uh, do you have any cool rhymes for us today? Yeah, of course. Can you, like, keep a beat and... I will do a little wrap talk? over the top. For sure. Yeah. Yeah, I played a little fiddler, fiddler in normal, but I know many schoolspielers who are totally sad. So I am my old dear feet, for the I have fallen low to a spiller in runner that has a mouth feet to eat the nina and troll. Oh, this is your nina. Yeah. What's happening to this man? Fit. And if he says. Anna's, Anna's, Anna's and Anna's. Yeah, yeah, that would be good. We're completely out of time. I do, however, have one special guest that I've been saving to the very end. Uh, so I think the network will just have to complain. We're gonna make one last phone call. You know this guy from huge movies such as In Verden, Udenfa, and uh, Bruce Den Elmekti. Mm -hmm, that's right, Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Hey, uh, okay, Morgan, welcome to. Uh, where do you go, Anders? I have to go. I have it not so good right now. There is something with my eye. We see. No, okay, he's sicker. Wow, that was the Morgan Freeman, everybody. <laughs> uh, Completely out of time, Anna's butt. No, forget that Anna's butt. You will just say something stupid. Tag for D is all mil. We see you next time. Hi hi. Day.